Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be harvesting some of these beets. I am a beet farmer. I'm very sorry. Good sir. And I've got some turnips in the back here. It's a little early, they're not as big as I wanted them to be, but they are encroaching on some of the other plants because I planted this all way too close. Second off, I've got a little bolting going on. <laughs> it's been like 90 degrees most of the days. Today is actually cold, it's 50 right now. Um, just a random cold day and tomorrow it's gonna to go back up high. So this fluctuation back and forth is really kind of stressful for these plants and it sends them to bolt. Um, so I definitely need to pick those turnips because they're bolting. But I'm going to get the beets as well because I'm more interested in the carrots that are right next to it. That means I'm going to have to make a stew pretty soon. So because uh, that's what I'm going to use the beets for. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and harvest. I'll show you guys how they look. You can see We've got some bolting going on. I already removed some of the bolts uh, coming up in the center and they just keep doing it. So it's time to time to harvest. But the beets also, you can see, they're just encroaching in on the, on the carrots. And I mean, just completely blocking these ones here on this side. These ones are doing okay, but it's time to remove those. So let's start here. Nothing big. So these are, I believe, called Starburst. Yes. Um, so the outside is white and the inside is bright pink. Now, I am not going to eat the leaves of these, even though you can. These are going to my chickens. I will be eating this. And let me open one up and show you guys how that center looks. It's pretty cool. There we go. That's awesome looking. So actually, I'll probably feed that one to the chicken since I opened it up. It's not going to have a shelf life now. I just want to show you guys. I don't have a ton of these, but I don't need a lot for the stew that I'm going to make. And plus, that's probably one of the smaller ones. This one's a little bigger. Well, that one's the smallest. <laughs> The runt of the litter here, it's all right. It'll eat, like I said, I picked these a little early. They should get a little bigger, but they're starting to bolt. And just end of February, and we're, we're having 90 degree days. Actually, it started mid-February, so just kind of random hot time, not expected. I planted these when I should have. Oh. All right, let's move on to the beets. I'll get quite a bit more with the beets. I've got more of them. So I am gonna eat the leaves of the beets, so I'm gonna keep those on because we like those, they're good in stir fry. But let's go ahead and cut one open. I wanna show you guys. Um, I think I had done this in a past video, but it's got like rings, red and white. Really, really a pretty kind. And there we go, you can see. The Eye of Sauron now turns to Gondor. Really cool. So that one is going to the chickens. All right, let's get all these up. And again, they're not as big as I wanted. They do get much larger, but they'll still eat just fine. That's interesting. That one has longer, bigger, more leaves, but smaller root, so... Well, run to the litter, goes to the chickens, same with that one. There's the big one. Look at that, it's a little better. A lot of leaves too, this one really grew a lot. Now it's still not big, I mean they get much, much larger, but it's something, something a little extra in that. I mean, that's plenty of root veggie for a stew, a good stew, a big hearty stew. So this will open this up, allow these carrots to see the sunlight a little bit better. So this is, 
This is a Parisian carrot, which is a smaller carrot anyway. So, I mean, that's why they're smaller than these. It is a smaller carrot, but, and that's also, I believe, Parisian. Okay, those are planted after though, about three weeks after these. And they're not much smaller, it's a little bit, but those really needed the sunlight. So now this is all opened up. These will do better too. And if you look, these are huge. These are a little bit daintier. Let's see, what kind is this? Oh, that's also the Parisian, that's why. So we've got two Parisians on either side of those that just weren't getting a whole lot of light. I've got two rows. I've got the rainbow. So this is the tender sweet variety. So the rainbow, tender sweet, and two Parisian. You know, I probably got another three weeks until I can harvest that. Unfortunately, with this hot weather, it might make them not as sweet. They really want kind of the cooler weather for uh, to be able to send all those sugars down in. So they'll still taste good, but they might have like a little bit of a bitterness because of that heat that we've been getting. So that's okay. Uh, still be putting them in stews and stuff, but that'll open this up for them. Now I do have some other beets. I've got this kind. Um, this I believe is the exact same beet as that because um, it's, it's that kind that has the round that's called the chiga chiga gian or something like that i don't i don't know how to pronounce it that is not my name no second a box no but i believe it's the same kind as that um this didn't i had a seed packet that didn't have a label on it they were made for just microgreens i'm pretty sure it's that same kind and then this is the Detroit. So this will be the deep, bright red beets. And I believe the carrots will be ready before those, honestly. So I'm not too worried about that encroaching. And if so, I'll just harvest a little early and be eating beets a little early, uh, smaller beets, so. But there we go. I've got a pretty good harvest here. And these stir fry up really well with some spinach and stuff and add some sweetness. So I'll be doing that as well. A uh, pretty good little harvest from just one little row. Uh, well, two, I guess. Let's give this to the chickens. <laughs> they love it. And I forgot to show you guys, today is February 29th, so we can keep track of how long that took. Honestly, it was probably longer than it really should have. They, they just didn't grow super fast. But February 29th, I don't know the exact date off the top of my head that I planted these. I've got it written down inside. I should check that. But I want to say it was past the time of when the packets say that they should be ready to harvest, but they're still small, so... It is what it is, sometimes that happens. All right, well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.